January the 20th, 2022. Guys, quick look at the nation's weather. In the purple, you've got winter weather advisories. In the pink, which you see in South Texas, you've got winter storm warnings. You also see those up in uh, North Carolina. And stretching down to the South Carolina coast in that deep purple, you have uh, ice storm warnings like we saw last week. This is a little further east, notice, along the coastline. And this is going to be moving up the coast. But uh, if the radars are, are indicating now some of this ice starting to come into Texas, guys, and stretch over towards Louisiana. Let's take a look at that. This is the AccuWeather uh, update for Austin, Texas. 35 degrees, real fuel, 31 below freezing. And you see that it's uh, clouds with snow there, wind gusts 15 miles an hour, wintry mix starting in one minute. We've can be, kind of been seeing it come in and out. Uh, then this is going to go on the trace not even an inch guys so it's not going to be like last year for what they're anticipating now but be careful traveling watch for power outages and things like that frozen overpasses frozen bridges the um let me just scroll this down today's weather 36 for the high real field 31 that's what we're seeing you guys tonight are going to be 25 with a real field of 22 and I know it doesn't sound that cold for you folks up north because it's been bitter up there. And then tomorrow, a little warmer. But it's we were got about two or three days of this colder weather as it sets in and starts to move all uh, towards the east. Now, as of 1.55 p.m. Central Time, this is what we've got. I'll put the map in motion. But you can see where your uh, combination of blue and pinks are. That's snow and icing. Also, you're getting snow up along the uh, northeast here, guys, right there, and uh, scattered out through parts of the Appalachians. Here is your, what's going on in Texas. As we put it in motion, this is a future cast, you'll see that the, a lot of the moisture is coming off uh, the Pacific Ocean. Let this thing populate. And it's p picking up moisture along uh, the uh, northern edges of the Gulf of Mexico, and that's going to push up into this icing area tonight in the Carolinas. So pay attention to that. Let's zoom in on um, what we're dealing with here in Texas. Because that's going to be approaching Louisiana, Mississippi. As the night goes on all the way into tomorrow morning. Now I'm going to stop this back at the uh, current time here. Say 12.50 move up two o'clock right in there that's where we're at now see that so as we move through the day it's just going to keep drifting and trying to slightly intensify through the day and this moisture off uh, over the warmer gulf will feed into the ice storms that are moving north pull this up you can see guys that um, again austin san marcos gonzalez Quero, victoria Fredericksburg, Kerryville, Medina, all of this is now in the ice. Rock Springs, a lot of it is north of uh, Interstate 10 going through there. But that's what we're dealing with. I just wanted to come up and show you this because it has started. We talked about it a, a few videos ago, about Thursday night into Friday, this happening. And uh, they've been pretty accurate about it. Again, it looks much lighter than we saw last year. And I hope it remains that way. But you can get killed in a car wreck on an icy bridge. You can get stuck, freeze to death. So get anything you've got to get now out ahead of this before it builds up. In some areas, I wouldn't recommend getting out at all. But I know a lot of you that listen to the, these uh, videos are prepared. And that's a good thing. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.